Okay, here I am. I found a, a good little tree here for our branch powered gnome saw that we're gonna build for our adventure. So here's a good, a good branch right here that's got some good spring to it that's somewhat close to the ground. Down here I've got the, the items that we need. Here is the, the wire hanger that I just bent off uh, of the hanger to stick into the, into the earth. We've got our twine, We've got our hacksaw blade here, the holes in both ends, and a pair of scissors. And that's all we really need. I also have some sticks here that I've just broken up to leave to make it look like the gnomes have been working. So the first thing I want to do is get enough twine off of the ball to make sure that I can tie it to the branch and that it reaches the ground plus about 12 inches at least. Alright, so first step I'm going to tie the string onto the branch right here. Okay, so now that I have the, the string on the branch, you'll see as I pull the, the string, the branch will come down and when the gnome uh, relaxes on the string, the branch will pull the string up. Okay, so now as we follow the string down to the ground, we want to pull it somewhat straight down to the ground here. And this is where we want to place our wire, our wire hanger. So I've got the wire hanger here. So all we really need to do is stick this in the general area and just push it into the earth. All the way down, as far as you can go with your hand. But you want to leave a little bit there because this is where you'll see where the gnome will pull on the string. The gnome will pull on the string and as the gnome pulls the string the branch is going to come down and again when the gnome relaxes the string it's going to pull the string up. Very simple. So I'm going to leave about 12 inches here. I'll just uh, snip the string right about there. Okay, so now that we have our string in place, we want to place our saw blade with the two holes in the end somewhere about gnome level where they're going to be sawing closer to the ground probably. So right about here, about halfway, there's the ground. So I'm about, oh, I guess maybe a, a 12 inches up from the ground. You want to snip the string right there with the scissors. So we will do that. We will snip it right about there. All right, so now that we've got our, our string snipped, here's the, the end that we snipped that's towards the ground. And here's the end that's hanging from the, the branch still. We're just gonna take our hacksaw blade here and we're gonna tie uh, the end of each string to, to each side of this hacksaw blade. Okay, so now we've got our hacksaw blade on our string, tied to the branch. It goes through the, the wire hanger loop in the ground. So as the gnomes pull on the string, the saw blade is gonna go up and down and that's how the gnomes saw their larger larger pieces of wood. So a very simple gnome machine that you can build for your adventure uh, that the kids can find and maybe discover you know how does this tool work and what do you, what do you think the gnomes use it for. Um, you might also want to uh, take your saw blade and cut some some small twigs with it just to leave some sawdust around the ground to make it look like it's been used. If you want to get really uh, fancy, you can put a wood, you know, platform here that the gnomes could guide the wood on. Um, but remember, the gnomes were in a hurry to clean up before the trolls came, so they may have removed the table. So you don't really have to have a table, to, and, and, and this find will be just as exciting for kids. But again, you could become as elaborate as you want, and we encourage that. Uh, be creative. Uh, and try to make it look like gnomes were actually working here.